What is your organisation's role in local communities? Uh, we would get queries all day, every day for different issues, not just on policing, but police officers would be in regular contact with me, um, looking us to help them to, to go into communities which maybe were at, at one time no-go areas. There's no really such thing now as a no-go area, which is good. Um, but to try and help build relationships, to do programmes with them, to try and go in in their own uniforms and, and communicate with young people and leaders within the community um, and engage at that level. And it's about relationship building again, not just with me as a worker, but also with the police officers and the groups on the ground as well. So my job has been about breaking down barriers between communities, rural communities, and breaking the myths between communities and police. And I think it's important to understand that in my job, there's no interface walls. So if I walk into a village or a small town, like the likes of Portadown or the likes of Belfast that have walls that are separating communities, rural areas don't have that. So if I drive into a village, it can be split 50-50, but there's no wall down the road to tell me what side of the road I'm on or where's welcome and where's not welcome. So that takes me a bit longer to try and work out what's going on within that rural area uh, to try and break down those barriers. And it's not an easy job. Um, and I have to say in urban areas, I, I live in an urban area, I've worked in urban areas for 10 years. People will say what they mean in an urban area. They'll lay their cards out on the table and say, this is what I think. Rural areas are completely different. We always say silence is golden in rural areas. A lot of people in rural communities don't want to talk about these kind of things. There's a perception, I suppose, out there that anything that happened in the troubles or the conflict happened in, the, in towns and didn't make its way right towards the border. And it did. Uh, and it very much impacted rural areas. So policing along with that comes along with a whole load of other baggage that I have to try and unpick in rural areas um, and, and it's, it's harder to get deeper and uh, the deeper conversations with people uh, in rural areas because they do, do, they do put up those invisible walls. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that we do do uh, and we do it with institutions, we do it with churches, we do it with Orange Order, we do it with the GAA, we do it with the Royal Black Preceptory, we do it with the British Legion. We do it with a whole swathe of society. We don't leave we don't leave anybody out. We work across all communities and rural areas.